right. So, uh, you know, forget the canned questions. Let's talk about social media. If if if, if someone were to, to to say to you, you know, what what is the one thing I really need to be aware of in social media? Um, you know, there's a lot out there. Just just one thing you definitely keep a, keep aware of when when you wake up in the morning. Mike, what would it be? What 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 is that one central thing that you definitely want to focus on with social media? Uh, I would say authenticity. Um, I think one of the problems that businesses have is that they uh, they try so hard to do it well, and they end up looking like a canned, sort of uh, prefabricated, artificial presence on social media. And the power of social media is to be a real person, to for your company to be represented by an actual, real, living and breathing human being. And that's actually the hardest thing to pull off, but it's the one thing you should focus on because, you know, all a criticism, it's criticism, for example melts away in the face of a genuine, honest, transparent human being in almost every case. Mm. And it's just the most effective way to leverage the medium. But then how does you know, some large company or even a mid-sized company be that personal in the face of not being one person? It's, it's, a, it's a hiring issue or it's a selecting the right kind of person issue and then it's giving them a minimum number of rules you know don't talk about this that and the other thing because that gets us in legal trouble uh, don't say this that and the other thing beyond those rules say anything be transparent and just turn that person loose and give them the empower you know empower that person to be as transparent as possible about how the company works and all that kind of stuff it's, it's counterintuitive to large companies they mm -hmm. don't want to be transparent but um, to the extent that you can be transparent, to the extent that you can be a real person, you win. Ifa, what do, what do you think about you know personally as as you wake up and you're gonna you're gonna start your social media day? What what's that one thing that you you want to keep in mind for yourself? Um, I completely agree with Mike. I think that transparency is building the one thing that we all missing, which is trust. So um, there's no trust, you know, anymore between people and, and employees, employers, people on the street. We got all the get-rich-quick schemes online, so it's even harder to trust people online. So when you're transparent and you connect with people, um, I think that will really set you apart. Um, also, the other thing is really to build an audience, not just go for the traffic. Um, if you have, like Mike was saying, you know, enough people that are your evangelist, you know, like Guy Kawasaki says, uh, lonely lover 52 at AOL.com. Uh, if you get enough of those... Is, right? is that a real person you thought? Or is that's that, a real, that's a, yeah, I got their okay. email. <laughs> all right, great. So, sounds but, uh, pretty authentic. We're all sending them emails now, right? right. Hey, lonely lover. But um, what, what happens is that that audience, every time you go to a new platform, now you bring your audience with you, and that's why you're successful in that platform. Think about Gary Vaynerchuk, for example, mm. right? Oprah, whatever. Um, you build an audience, and to build an audience, to have really people that love you, you have to be transparent, authentic, right, and personal. So um, you got to be a real person. You got to be social. <laughs> yeah, Brian, Brian, what's your take? I guess it's it's amazing about you know trust and, and sociability on the internet. It's like you know we thought you know years ago, oh we'd never use our credit card there. But you think about all the deals that go on through say eBay every day, like millions of strangers are transacting with millions of strangers without ever knowing each other. I mean, the possibility for trust is there. Uh, but at any rate, y y your idea, like what, what, what one idea do you think of when you wake up in the morning for social media? So I mean, I think a, a lot of it comes down to really truly storytelling, right? And there's an element here where trust and transparency is essential, but nobody gets up in the morning and says, what is my favorite brand talking about on social media today? And I think that's key is that not only is all the data out there for us to consume, but we have to find ways to relate with our audience. Nobody, you know, really the trust between a brand. I don't, nobody trusts a logo today just like they don't trust a billboard as you're driving down the street. And so to build those relationships, I love that we kind of touched on trust and transparency and really that authenticity element. And the reason some brands really struggle on social is the honest truth is they aren't that good at what they're doing. They've had, they've had this veil up. And the reason transparency scares them is because transparency does not guarantee trust, but it guarantees that you have an authentic window into who that brand is. And I, I came from the employee advocacy side, and the brands that are really doing it well, they're turning their, their greatest assets, which are their employees, into their rock stars. And if a brand can do that, not only are they going to build, you know, not only a legion of followers and advocates, you know, as we were kind of talking about, but also that's how they're going to really extend and scale because we're not limited by what's around us today. We are really have the option and the ability to connect globally without limitations. 